Hi everyone, Honor of King's official server just received an update today, mainly focusing on upcoming new skins, balance adjustments, and a new game mode. In today's video, I'll show you all the changes made in this update and also reveal some upcoming skins, so make sure to watch till the end. Before we continue, I'd like to talk about Elite Dias. If you're looking for a safe and affordable place to buy tokens, you should try Elite Dias. Simply search for Elite Dias on Google, or click the link in the description. Select Honor of Kings and enter your UID, which you can find in your profile settings. Next, choose the package you want. Their prices are up to 30% cheaper than the normal price, and there's an additional 5% discount for the global launch. You can also purchase the Weekly Card and Weekly Card Plus. Okay, now select your desired payment method to proceed, and your tokens will be delivered to your account instantly. For a safe and fast way to buy tokens, try Elite Dias. Now, let's continue with the video. A new hero will be available on August 20th, and his name is Zia. He's a support type mage who can increase his level and a teammate's up to 25. He's a very unique hero, and I'll make a video explaining his skills. So, subscribe if you want to watch that. Now let's talk about hero balance adjustments. First on the list is Yu Huan. For some reason the developers are giving her buffs on her first skill. They increase the number of sound waves by one, so it now shoots four waves in total. The first skill's damage is slightly reduced, but they increased its scaling, which means more damage in the late game. They also increased the extra damage to monsters and minions. Previously, her first skill could only deal 50% damage to jungle monsters, but now it deals 100% damage to them. This will allow her to clear jungle monsters faster, making her more effective as a jungler, so we might see jungle Yu Huan more often in the ranks. Next on the list is Mulan. She received a lot of nerfs previously and fell out of the meta, so they're giving her some buffs. Her passive damage reduction in heavy sword form is increased by 5%. Her first skill damage in dual sword form is increased with scaling. And the damage in heavy sword form is also increased. These changes make Mulan tankier in heavy sword form and increase her overall damage output. The previous nerfs affected her badly, so hopefully, she will now perform better in team fights. Lubin number 7 received some adjustments in this patch. Developers noticed that Lubin was melting high HP tanks with his passive, so they're making changes. They removed his previous passive, where the damage was equal to 6% of the target's max health. Now, his passive damage deals 60 to 120 damage based on the target's 4.5% max health, and he will gain an extra 1% damage per 100 physical attack. This means he will deal less damage to high HP heroes, but increased damage to enemy carries. Li Xin is getting some adjustments in this update. The developers noticed he's a bit weak right now, though his revenge form is hard to counter. So, they're tweaking his stats. His base movement speed, base health, and base physical defense are all increased. The movement speed from his first skill in revenge form is reduced by 50, but it will now increase by 10 points with each skill level. This means a nerf to his early game power, but he'll regain the same speed by late game. Han Shin is getting some buffs in this patch. His base health has been increased, and the cooldown of his first skill is reduced by 1.5 seconds. However, the skill's scaling is now lower than before. This change is aimed at giving Han Shin a boost in early game so he can join team fights sooner. Li Bai also received a buff to his first skill, with increased damage to enhance his performance in battles. Lastly, Ogren is getting nerfed in this patch. He's been too strong in the current meta, so the developers are reducing his damage and cooldowns. The base damage of his second skill is lowered, and the damage from his life-death border is reduced. The recovery from enhanced basic attacks is also decreased. Additionally, the cooldown time for his ultimate is increased by 4 seconds. Overall, these changes aim to balance Ogren but we'll have to see if they're enough to move him out of the ban section. The All-Star Fighters Open is about to begin. You can get the new epic skin, Ascension Pendicar Lamb, for free on August 9th. Also, you can claim Lian Po's new epic skin, Ascension Luchador, 
and Mayane's epic skin for free, starting August 16th by completing their upcoming events. A sharp blade, guided by an even sharper mind. Simple solutions are boring. I prefer those that require a bit of thinking. A flash of inspiration! Inspiration. Show no weaknesses. A flash of inspiration. The optimal solution. End of calculation. of inspiration. are not in the ring, but with ourselves. His story? No, my story! Drumming? That was me rehearsing!
limited time legendary skin of Don Wang, Underworld Sun, will be available to purchase from the 9th of August. time legendary skins for Li Bai and Musashi might be releasing this month. Their skin portraits have been found in the game files, so they could be available soon. You'll be able to buy these skins from the shop with tokens and through 20 token lucky boxes. I'll be giving away these two skins when it's available. To participate in the giveaway, just subscribe to the channel and join my Discord server. Check the description or pin comment below to join the Discord and participate in the giveaway. <laughs> 玉墨迹化文水中行神不随尘世改日月清明纷纷化入剑中来昨日前世皆可弃明月松风抱剑来
龙舟稍显明。山庄，阁下不可再踏前一步。无此生不者，何为后退？今日剑谱，始遇之音。不知天下木须明。何如挥剑斩淋漓巅峰无敌于世，不如生逢于对手。剑舞刀锋。天下木须明，何如挥剑斩淋漓？剑舞刀锋，没有。剑舞刀锋。Zhao Chao's crossover dimension skin might be released later this month or next. Its skin portrait was found in the game files, indicating it could be available soon. This will be a flawless quality skin, so expect it to be more expensive than other legendary skins. <laughs>
向流星许愿，一个没有悲伤的明天。走岔路也没关系，我们还在一直向前。听我的招来，你何其呢？听我的高燃主题曲。Fragment shop is updated. They added new heroes and skins in the exchange shop. The new casual game mode, Gemini Showdown, starts on August 9th. In this mode, you can choose one of three random ultimates to add to your skill layout. Combined with your hero's original ultimate, you can create unique and crazy combos. I'll make a video about this mode when it's available. And that's all for the August 8th update. So what do you think about this update and the upcoming skins? Which part do you like the most? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.